Oh, well, uh, so I am here with a new topic. Today we are going to discuss about a new topic of uh, VA, VSpace 6.5 VCP module. In this module, we are going to describe the virtual network with VSpace standard switch. So earlier modules, we already deployed ESXi host, deployed vCenter server and added that ESXi host to virtual center server. And now we have, when we had configured, uh, ESXi host uh, then we had config also configured management network but for the uh, other networking we will have to create the virtual switches so that is very interesting topic for you so uh, I am sure that you are going to uh, get some benefit from uh, uh, this module that how to how to create how to like what is virtual switch what is virtual network so let's jump to the theoretical part here. Once this is complete, I'll also uh, take you to the lab environment. So uh, uh, first of all, understand virtual networking. What is virtual networking? So VMware vSpay uses virtual networking to make connection between hypervisor and virtual machines. So you have hypervisor as a ESXi host. So that has uh, that is a physical server. So that has a connectivity from physical network, right? On top of hypervisor you create virtual machines as an object then how these virtual machine will communicate to hypervisor so uh, to make the connectivity between virtual machines and hypervisor you will create virtual networking right either through standard switch or distributed switch i'll discuss it later so uh, to make the connectivity between uh, hypervisor and virtual machine what you need you need virtual networking and ESXi is connected to physical network and switches whereas uh, virtual machine is connected to ESXi using virtual networking and virtual switch provides interconnectivity interconnection for VMs to communicate with each other uh, using the same protocol that would be used over physical networking and virtual machine on ESXi host are connected logically and provide all functionality and security what we have on physical networking and you can create complex networking for virtual machines in a single host using port groups and different virtual switches like if you have different multiple vlans you can create multiple vlans on a single host you can segregate the network you will have you have different vlans you can different create different port groups and manage your complex uh, network environment uh, using virtual networking virtual switches creates and run in the vm kernel so virtual uh, we create on a esxi host and it uh, creates and run on in the vm kernel so we have two type of virtual switches one is vspace standard switch and another is vspace distribution distributed switch so vspace standard switch we create on a uh, each host and vspace distributed switch we create on a v v center uh, basis like we have created one vspace distributed switch on a virtual center and we will have to map to that all esxi hosts we can map to the all esxi hosts but similar to that in standard switch we have to create this standard switch on all uh, uh, we have to create this standard switch on all uh, esxi hosts whatever we have so understand what is a standard switch so standard switch does the same work as a physical switch though in a virtual environment and you create it to provide networking between esxi host and virtual machines it it is created on vm kernel it can have multiple ethernet adapters different vlans work together using port group it connects with physical switch using physical adapter on esxi and it provides different vlan to work for virtual machine using port groups it provides management vmotion and other functionality using port groups and complex and large networking works in a simple way by using standard switch now component of standard switch we have these components of in a uh, standard switch one is port group vlan nic teaming physical ad ad adapter and mtu we'll discuss it in later modules about these all components in port group we have two mod uh, two different groups one is vm uh, virtual machine port group and an another is vm kernel port group now standard switch architecture what we have here we have physical networking here we have physical switches uh, that is con connected to vm nic here we have host esxi host here on esxi host we have vm nic and this is l2 l3 switches and it is vm nic is connected to uh, these switches physical switch 
and now we have on top of that we have virtual machines virtual machines we create vnic and vnic is connected to the we have different vlans here we have management vlan vmotion test environment production we have different different vlans in ESXi host we have uplinks uplinks are connected to these physical switches and we have different port groups which is connected to vnic and vnic is connected to this so this is kind of architecture we have uh, in standard switch uh, virtual networking so consideration while choosing physical network so when you choose your physical network you will have to do some kind of con configuration when configuring virtual network it communicate with physical network and dependent on it uh, provide required connections hence here are few consideration you need to keep in the mind as well right so what all consideration it is the like number of physical switches what you have network bandwidth required physical switch supports for 802.3 ad for nic teaming physical switch support for 802.1q for vlan trunking and network port security cisco discovery protocol and its operation modes listen broadcast listen and uh, broadcast and disable so these are all the considerations you have to keep in mind when you are going to configure your when you are choosing your physical networking right so these all things you will have to keep in mind where you are moving to the vSphere environment you have to get the infrastructure accordingly to that you have to make the configuration uh, changes at uh, like uh, that is uh, similar you don't have to do much configuration uh, you will have to get these uh, uh, things from your networking team and you will have to deploy accordingly so again thanks for uh, watching this theoretical part and again i am going to uh, jump to the lab uh, now and i'll show i'll explore the vSphere standard switch i'll show you how to create that standard switch how you can manage that so thanks for watching again and please uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel stay tuned and watch the lab environment now thank you so much